Hey guys, welcome back with Big Al this Saturday, the 14th. Last Saturday, Al slated 18.6 units. A dime player made 18,600 following his proprietary money management system. Now, before Al goes over the complimentary selection, what is the all access? Of course, you can go online and purchase the premium plays. This is designed for clients that have a 5,000, 10,000, preferably 20 to $100,000 bankroll. This is not for everybody. If you can't handle all access, which is the volume that's required on the proprietary money management system, just head on over to pickdogs.com, pick up Al's all access packs on the premium page, but you're not going to get access to the rating system. You're not going to get access to the late consultation where you can ask him a question about any game that he's actually not covering. So uh, did I did I give it to him the way it should be done, Al? Did I tell <laughs> yeah, him what he needed to know? That sounds about right. Yeah, it's all access. So you, you, you can ask about any game, uh, your heart desires, you get all the ratings of all the games, and you also get the uh, additional plays uh, that, that don't necessarily make uh, the, the premium card. So it's it, there's a lot of value, but again, it's not for everybody. It's only for the high rollers. Exactly. So let's talk about today's Saturday's uh, complimentary selection as we're going to Keep this video short and sweet as we have a big day of football ahead of us. What do you got? I'm going to look at my alma mater, the Michigan Wolverines. Um, Eric, they come into this game off back-to-back Suats wins. They blew out Nebraska 45-7, and then they massacred Minnesota 52-10. And now they're going to take on the Indiana Hoosiers in Ann Arbor. Indiana, if you recall, gave up 44 to the Maryland Terrapins, your hometown mm -hmm. team, right. uh, when it was last on the field. And for me, college football is a much more of a, moment, of a momentum sport than, say, the NFL. When I see a team like Michigan rolling, I'm more inclined to go with it than go against it. And one of the things I like to do in college football in the regular season is play on teams off back-to-back -back blowouts by 28 points or more. If they also covered the spread in those two victories, and now they're playing an opponent, they gave up more than 28 points in its previous game. game. These teams have gone 61% going all the way back to 1980, 152 and 99 ATS. And of course, now we've got Jim Harbaugh back on the sidelines. He wasn't there for the first three games this season. They didn't cover any of those first three, but now they're 2 and 1 ATS. Uh, this season with Harbaugh going back uh, to the 2021 season, they're now 21-8 and 1 ATS with Harbaugh on the sidelines. I'm laying the points with the Wolverines. Hey, you know, we got a Harbaugh right here in Baltimore, Maryland. <laughs> you do. You've got the better Harbaugh. So let me ask you something before I let you go. Since you've been doing this for 45 years, you're going to tell me, and I expect that you're going to tell me that your database and your systems picked Appalachian State to cover against Michigan in 2007. No, it did not. But one of the things <laughs> I've also learned through my database is that when a team, an FBS school, no, Appalachian State was FCS back then, they were Division II. So when a, a team like Michigan from the FBS, if they would get upset by an FCS school, and if our FBS team was ranked, those teams don't bounce back the next week. And Michigan didn't cover the spread the next week. So that's one of the things my database does tell me. But no, I had no idea that the uh, Mountaineers were going to upset me. I'm, I'm only laughing because one of my good friends is a Michigan alumni as well, and I remember him crying like the world came to an end after that game. Um, yeah, Michigan, Michigan fans have had a lot of that. Exactly. Well, I'm going to say for all the people out there, it's Saturday if you're watching this video early. Just to give you a little bit of a rundown, he has rates his plays on one to 10 units. Tomorrow's, well, today's, excuse me, 10 unit release goes at 3.30 Eastern Standard Time. And just to give you a little free insight, not games, he's got a 10 unit, he's got a nine unit, he's got an eight unit and a seven unit, and then he's got a couple of four units, a couple of two units, and a lot of one units. But if you wanna pick up that 10 unit and that nine unit play, the 10 units at 3.30 Eastern Standard Time. The 9 unit as it's, is at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. You can take them. You can play them straight. You can also parlay them. That's what a lot of his high rollers do. So as always, you got the complimentary selection. Reach out, 775-636-7676. Good day and good luck.